Hello and welcome. And it's Wednesday, it's 10 a.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. in the UK, and it is time for my weekly broadcast on the OneStream Live channel. Now, as you know, OneStream Live is the perfect broadcasting system because it allows you. I mean, I'm broadcasting from my studio. It's got a studio, a live studio. That's me again. Right, so we'll stop him. I'm just making sure I was actually live on YouTube. All is good. I can carry on with my introduction. That's the first stage. But before I do, and whilst you take your seats, let's go here. And now we're definitely live. If you've got notification on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch, thank you for joining me. Uh, this is Stephen from wonderful Wilson, England. It's not a bad day. It's a bit cloudy. It's about 65 degrees. And today's topic is down at the bottom. I'll put my glasses on to read it, as you know. Uh, increase website traffic and conversions with Stephen Healy. That's me. Okay, so I'm going to be looking at how to, you can increase your website traffic, in this case, using live video. Now, as I was just saying, OneStream has its own studio, which I'm broadcasting from now. It has the ability to broadcast live to up to 30 destinations, possibly increasing. But one of those destinations can be your own website. And we're going to look at ways you can actually use OneStream Live to go live to your website. Because in addition to being able to go live, you can also play pre-recorded videos live. And on my website page, which you'll see in a moment, I'm actually building a TV channel. Um, and the thing is, well, let's get to the topics. And I'm going to go up here and get to the topics. And I've got banners. I've got everything organized today. So uh, let's start at the top. And I suppose the best place to start. I don't have it here. All right. OK, is this. Okay, the benefits of live broadcasting to your website. Sell whilst you are live. And that's the key. When you go live on Facebook or you go live on YouTube or Twitter or Twitch or LinkedIn, you're not working for yourself. Um, if you go live on Facebook, you get ads. And the person who gets some money from the ads is Facebook. If you go live on YouTube, same applies. YouTube get the money. If you can get people to your website, then you're actually introducing people to your services because your website has got a rundown of every single service you supply. It's also got all your videos, recorded videos, and it's got your shop. And this is key. Don't miss out the opportunity to have a shop on your own website because whilst people are listening to you, you're listening to me now, they could be buying things from your website. And there is no better way than uh, getting people onto your website and selling to them. Because yeah? you're selling direct. Um, you're not going through any middle parties. The page that you put up or the shop that you put up is comprised of your products. And if, if you are an affiliate marker, marketer, this is ideal because you can have be talking about the deals, showing the deals on screen, and then on the page, the affiliate page, you can have the links so that people can buy whilst you're live. And that's the key to all this, is buying whilst you're live. And going live with one stream is so simple and straightforward. Broadcasting from the studio, I could be broadcasting out to my website right now, and you can do the same, because the ability to broadcast your website is included in the plans. And if after this broadcast, you check out the plans, you'll see how cost effective this is. If you think in terms of your advertising budget, then this fits into most people's business budget for advertising and marketing. And uh, it is a way forward. It's a way to take control, to wrest control from Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch, to be in control. 
And Joe Shepard and I, Joe's a great friend, we're actually at the moment putting together a system based around one stream live because this is our favorite platform for business broadcasting. And uh, over the course of the next month or so, we'll be releasing that. Also being released at the same time, uh, end of July, is uh, my own Udemy course, all about this, taking a step by step guide as to how to use one stream live and how to actually go live. So, Got number two, so the benefits, the benefits that you're in control of. People are coming to your website to watch your videos, to look at your sales pages, to read your blog posts. And if you plan this right, one of the things that you can do on your own website is have a group, like a Facebook group, but it's on your website and people can join the group and you can keep in contact with people every single day, not just when you're live. You can post in there every single day and bring people in. The other thing is that anybody who joins the group would get a special discount. So you can encourage people to actually join the group. Okay, and we're going through, I've got a, on these one stream live broadcasts, I've actually got a plan and uh, the plan is down the right hand side and it means that I can bring in option number three. Okay, and he's here somewhere. Bear with me. Uh, option number three. I've pasted it here. If I haven't, let's just check what option number three is. We're going right. Okay, I have option number three. I just need to find the keyword and eight seven. I haven't got it. Okay, I found it. Okay, apologies for the delay. This is live broadcasting. Live broadcasting is television, and I'm hosting the show, I'm directing the show, I'm starring in the show, uh, and occasionally you'll get glitches. It's just I haven't got my run of show in any particular order. Or in other words, I'm having to search for things, and uh, my apologies. Just let me go over to uh, YouTube again. Okay, and if you're watching live on YouTube, I want to say hello. Right, I want to say hello if you're watching live on, on YouTube. Thank you. Uh, if you've got questions about anything I'm talking about, then please do ask. Okay, now, when you're actually broadcasting, broadcasting on your website you do need to have a plan um you could just go live but the problem with just going live is quite simply you actually run out of words as well because unless you've uh, unless you've created a run of show i'll explain that in a moment you need good luck and you don't want luck you want planning and my friend joe shepherd is one of the best planners and when we do a show together, there is a run of show, like there is on today's broadcast, which is the items you're actually going to talk about. Now, on any broadcast, you need to have an introduction and a summary. Bare minimum. You can busk it in between, but introduction and summary. Introduction to you, introduction to your company, introduction to the products and services that you supply. Yeah? Now, what you could do is you can pre-record that part of it polish it and edit it and you can bring it into your one stream studio and play it at the beginning of the broadcast and throughout the broadcast otherwise you don't have to repeat yourself so record an intro yeah. use you can record the intro in your one stream studio and then download the recording and you can then bring it into the show when you want we can play recordings that's on our hard drive whilst we're live great feature of one stream live um so we've got a, uh, an intro we've got an outro beginning and end we need the in-between bits now that can be a mix of products and services or it can be hints tips and tricks what you want to do is you want to involve your audience yeah rather than just having this is product a this is product b this is product c what you want to do is to intersperse between the products advice from your own experiences 
because people are actually coming to watch you. I mean, that's why you brought them to your website. So they want to hear about you. They want to hear what you think about things. They want to become involved. They want to talk to you. And that's the other thing uh, on on stream live. People can actually chat with you whilst you're live. I'll show you that. Um, so products, services, help and advice, questions and answers. Okay, you do need to leave uh, in your agenda, your run of show, an opportunity for people to ask you questions. This is you stop talking and start listening. And the listening part is very important because people love for their comments to appear on screen. That's one. And two, they want to feel part of the experience. And they can, when you're broadcasting from your one studio, live studio, they can become part of the experience. You can show comments on screen and get people involved. So do plan to have a successful broadcast. Don't just wing it. I mean, the, the, the number of people that I see just switch the camera on and go, that's okay. But a planned approach is far better. And to get a successful broadcast, you want to get that mix between you, your products and services, and the interaction. You, your product services, and your inter and the interaction with the audience. That's what it's all about. Okay, number four, and hopefully I'll find this one quicker than I did. Three. Okay, now when you're broadcasting live, uh, when you start broadcasting, you can use your internal uh, camera and microphone on your computer. No problem with that. But you soon realize that other broadcasters are not using the internal camera and microphone. It's not his personal view. When it comes to business communication, what you actually want is to look good on screen and to sound good. And that means you need an external camera and an external microphone. Which one you choose is up to you. Uh, there are three that I can recommend as cameras. First of all, there's a camera that I got uh, three or four years ago, which is Logitech Brio. It sits on my desktop. I'll put all these in links, uh, links in on the YouTube video afterwards. I don't have to write anything down. Logitech Brio from Logitech, uh, who are a Swiss American company based just outside Spain. And the Logitech Brio is a 4K camera, which means it gives 4K quality. In terms of broadcast quality, you think 720, 1080, and 4K. Now, when you're broadcasting to your website from one stream live, you can broadcast in 1080p and you want a camera that does that. Now, the Brio does that. It's got um, basically, it's got Twin noise cancelling microphones. It sits on top of your monitor, and it's reliable because it's from Logitech. So, camera, external camera, number one, Logitech Brio. Second one is the Nexigo, which is the camera that you're looking at now. Uh, in terms of cameras, you want something that's going to give you a good quality of picture, and the Nexigo does that. The Nexigo is another 4K camera, and uh, Basically, any camera that's got 4K lens looks good when you drop down to 1080. Okay, it looks better than something that's going up to 1080. Coming down to 1080 is a lot easier for a camera. Physically, this is about seven inches wide. It's the Nexigo N970P. It's sat on top of my monitor at the moment, and you're actually watching it. So you can judge the quality of the picture. It is a web conference camera, too. Uh, with me on screen, it's just showing me. If there were three people on screen, it would widen its angle of view to show all three. And then five people on screen, it would widen its angle of view again. So if you're going to have, if you're broadcasting and you want your employees to be part of the show, this is the ideal situation. Because what you do is you put the camera on a tripod on a conference table. Camera will be able to take everybody, it's got facial recognition, so it will be able to take in everybody sat at the table. And then the person controlling the soft, well, controlling with this, which is remote control, can actually zoom in and out and then can go from side to side, go to this side. Okay, keep going. If I press this button, it's me straight there. And over here, so using remote control, somebody you designated can actually control the broadcast and cut away from five people on screen 
to just one person on screen. So as it, people talk, you can switch between the individual uh, people talking. So that's definitely a consideration in terms of doing a broadcast where there's more than one person involved. Next ago, N970P. Next ago, are a US company based just outside Seattle. And this is the top end of their range of cameras. They joined the market uh, just over three years ago. And they've got 15 different cameras. This is my favorite because the quality of the picture. And it's the quality of the picture that we're after. So in terms of equipment, we've got the Logitech Brio and we've got the next ago. The next camera is the Obspot. Now the Obspot is a special camera because the Obspot has got AI tracking. It's on a gimbal, which means that it can track left and right. Okay, it can go, it can pan up and down, and it can zoom, okay? It is the ideal camera for solo because you can be sat down and then you can stand up. The camera will track your every movement because it's on a two axis gimbal. And this, this is ideal. I use this camera on my Amazon live broadcast because basically it gives me the opportunity to present sat down and present stood up. So camera wise, the Obswat, tiny again, 4K camera, giving the best quality picture down in the camera. Well, no, sorry, I thought it was on Amazon live for a moment there. Uh, basically you'll find it on Amazon. If you find me on Amazon, then you'll see all the items I'm talking about. So cameras. Do consider getting an external camera. Logitech Brio, Nexigo and 970p, and the Obspot Tiny are three of the cameras you can actually use. Now, not only can you use them in live broadcasts on your website, you can use them anytime you go live. You can use them on Zoom calls, you can use them on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch. You can broadcast live from your one stream studio using any of the cameras that I mentioned. Now, when you're broadcasting live, and you especially broadcasting to your website. Your front stage, you're on the front page. Uh, but what we're wanting people to do is to actually visit your blogs and your shop. Now, that means that they're going to stop watching you and carry on listening. And this is where sound is very important. Audio is an important aspect of every live broadcast. If you have bad audio, if it's too low or it's crackly, people will just move on. They would leave the whole thing. Bad, bad pictures we can put up with. If we get um, sort of a picture which is fluctuating, we can live with that, providing the sound's okay. Sound is as important. Yeah? Especially, I mean, when you're live on your website, you're giving out the best impression you can, which is why you need to invest in the camera and in the microphone. Now, as far as the microphone is concerned, you're actually listening now to the Blue Yeti. Now, the Blue Yeti is the Rolls Royce of microphones, and it's got a deep bass, and it's got a good range, and it's next to me now. It's about five feet away from me. But there are alternatives. The Blue Yeti is basically, nobody ever got fired for buying a Blue Yeti. It is the perfect microphone. There are other deep bass. And then good tones. When you actually change your inflection and you actually start to talk more animatedly, then the Blue Yeti can handle it all. Now, I'm fortunate. I've got many friends in live broadcasting, and I got four of them together. And I said to them, bring your cameras, bring your microphones. And one of the microphones that was brought was by Alec Dorling in Sweden. And he bought, brought the Elgato Wave 3 microphone. So I got a Wave 3 microphone. I heard it. I heard Alex speaking. I thought, that is an amazing sound. I want that sound. So I went over and I ordered the microphone and it sat next to me. And in next week's broadcast, I'll bring it active. But you do need a good, and the Elgato Wave 3 comes with uh, software, as does the Blue Yeti. Whenever you get a piece of kit, be it a camera or a microphone, do get a software to go with it. Because that gives you total control. And you've got to be, well, if you don't get the software, you're using about 20% of what you need. Uh, the software is totally free. So do download it and do use it. It's simple to install. It will find your camera straight away. And it's got, most of them are very intuitive. You can just follow the instructions. Like on here, uh, they can do the things that I've been doing. 
camera. Okay, and my third microphone, not in the carousel, because I sell microphone, obviously, uh, is the Audio Technica AT2020. I've had it for about two and a half years. I got it before I got these two. And uh, again, that was recommended to me by a podcaster. Now, podcasters, podcasters want the best sound that they can get. And uh, it certainly gives it certainly gives off a high quality sound. Again, a good bass, good frequency range, and it just works out of the box. Plug and play, as all three microphones are. So the microphones we looked at are Blue Yeti, Elgato Wave 3, and Audio Technica AT2020. All of them will improve upon the sound. So when you go live on your website, people hear you. Basically, the benefit of using an external microphone. Okay, so that's for the four. Equipment is important. Do consider it. Do consider your options. If you want further advice, then please do ask. But that's an introduction to three cameras and three microphones, which will get you started. Okay, and I'm just going out here and I'm going to press stop. Okay, so back to me again, and we're looking for option five this time. I'm going to change the way I do this. Right. Okay. Now, On Stream Live has got a studio, which I'm broadcasting from. On Stream Live also has a web player, an HTML5 web player, which means that when I broadcast from my studio, I can broadcast out to the web player and then embed that web player in my website. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, just a reminder, you're watching increased website traffic and conversions using live video, which is missing off there. And then if I go over here and show you just a minute, just let me scroll up a bit. Okay, I am back and I'm going to go here. Okay, this is my website. If I scroll up, up you'll see. I get to the top. Okay, welcome to my live video world, live and restreamed video from one stream. I'll come back to the restreamed in a minute. But this, if I was, I'm only going live to YouTube today, but normally I would actually go live to my website as well. And this is my live channel from one stream live. And the video plays there. Um, as, as, soon, as soon as you start broadcasting, the video, As soon as you start live broadcasting, the video is available on your website. And you've done basically what is a 15 minute operation because what you do is one, you design your web player and you can decide what picture is on there. Like at the moment, the picture I've got on there, as you can see, is me talking about a broadcast I did last week. So the, that picture, you choose it. Okay, it can be anything that you want. Then uh, you can decide the size of it. Now, I always do my web players as responsive, which means that they will fit in with the space available on the website. You can determine security, and this is where you do have the opportunity to make money. Uh, you can have it unsecured, in which case anybody on the internet can watch you when you're live, and for promotional purposes, doing free broadcasts is not a bad idea. Um, because then you can market it, everybody can come and see you. We'll talk about marketing. Um, so, unsecured. Then you can secure it with a password. Um, and only people who've got the password. Now, this gives the opportunity to have a paywall involved. So, you can actually increase your traffic by bringing people in and saying, right, okay, there's a paywall. Uh, you can pay to join, and only anybody who pays to join can have access. Okay, and then you can restrict where which pages the broadcast appears. Now, a good big point about this. When you have an HTML5 web player, and you design it, size it, decide the security, and then you get the code to post in. And basically what I've done here 
is I've got this is a web a web page on a standard WordPress blog, and I took the HTML5 code from OneStream Live and just put it into my website. That's all I need to do. It's a cut and paste operation, and uh, I've got I'm doing a new video shortly, which will show you how to do it step by step. So from a technical point of view, it is not difficult to do. You just need to take some care. And it should work first time. Once you've done it, then you can go live as many times as you want. And that's the key. You don't need to change anything. You can just set it up once and then forget it. Because then when you go live from your OneStream studio to the OneStream web player, uh, there's no there's very low maintenance. If you don't have a website, OneStream Live have got you covered because there is a landing page is hosted by OneStream Live, where you can go live. So you can go live on your blog, which is what, what we're talking about today, increasing your website traffic. But if you if you don't have if you don't have a website, just going to go here for a second. We talk about increasing your website and conversions by using live video. Um, if you don't have a website, then OneStream have a single page, landing page, which has got the video embedded into it. It doesn't take any technical expertise, no cut and paste. You can design the layout. Uh, let's see if I can just find it. Um, just a second. Okay, and I need my glasses again. Right. right, if you've got any questions, then please do ask. Um, and no, I'll bring it into my next show. My apologies for that. But in terms of your website, once you've got it embedded, yeah, then you can set it and you can forget it and you can play live. You can play live. Now, just a note about that. One stream live is brilliant for live video because you can go directly from your studio to your web page. Okay, you can monitor the comments on your web page. Uh, if we go back to the web page at the moment, if I go here and go here, um, I can, there is chat built in and spell would be okay. Just give me a second. Okay, and you can see that people, whilst you're live, I'm just going to close something down for a moment. People whilst you're live can actually comment and you can see those comments and you can react to those comments. So you've got engagement whilst you're live. Again, that is important. Okay, so let's take this bar off, come back here and come back to me. And there we are. So you can have engagement whilst you're live. Now, a major factor here. Once you've set all this up, whenever you go live, people can come and watch you on your website. You can increase the number of viewers. You can increase traffic. You can increase engagement using the chat whilst you're live. What if somebody comes to your website when you're not live? Well, first of all, uh, you can embed the replay into your website. Uh, as well as going live to your website, go live to YouTube. You can then get the embed code from YouTube, come back and you can post your latest video so that people can watch the replay. That's a one-off video. Your latest video, upload to YouTube, well, directly to, to YouTube, broadcast, and then get the embed code, put it into your Again, simple and straightforward to do, and instructions to that will be available in the course I'm doing at the moment. Um, the next thing is that you have the ability on one stream to stream pre recorded video. Okay, now once you set the player up, you can have video going to your website, pre recorded video to your website whenever you like, and you can to a certain extent. Set up your own TV channel. Now, I spoke about this in a previous uh, one stream live broadcast, but you can set up your own TV channel. So when people are surfing 
and you're not live, they can watch the recordings. Now, all the recordings that you do on one stream are available, and all you need to do is to select them. So I've done, for argument's sake, this is my sixth show on the one stream live YouTube channel. And I can put together a playlist of all six videos, and I can play them on my website. Simple and straightforward to do. I can schedule it. So if I want to go live for five hours at 6 p.m. in the evening, I can do that. I can chain the six videos together. I can set the date and time that I want to broadcast. And I can go live on my website. Again, getting traffic in. The thing is, you can actually have somebody monitor the broadcast, the rebroadcast, and engage people. You can engage people with pre-recorded video. It doesn't have to be live. And the, the thing is that with the one stream uh, system, there are generous allowances for streaming. And you can stream out to your website pre-recorded video at any time. Okay, now, so you can actually see your website. You can go live and you can play pre-recorded video covers all bases. This is why I always talk about one stream live as a one stop shop, because it has the ability to go live, the ability to record it. I can go live from OBS by one stream and go up to 30 destinations. I've got a feeling I might have to increase that number at the moment. Um, today I'm just going live to one destination, which is YouTube. But when I do the replay, this, this show that you're watching now, hopefully, will be replayed at 2 p.m. Eastern today across all my social media. So if you want to watch me live, come to the YouTube channel for one stream. If you want to watch the replay, you can catch it on my social media every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Even on Amazon Prime Days. I've got to mention Amazon at some point. Um, and I'm looking forward to a lot. And those who are listening now, um, so connecting is simple and straightforward. It is design the web player and you give them parameters to design it by. Get the code, go over to your blog, and you can paste that code into your blog site, either on a page or on a blog post. And when you go live, you will go live there. Now, just because this is HTML code, uh, it is transferable from one site to another. Now, I don't want to misspeak here. So I'm going to couch this and say, if I come here, as far as I know, what I'm proposing will work. Okay. Basically, uh, if I ask my friends, Nick and Joe, I've got, I've got a special broadcast going out. And I want it to go on Nick's website and Joe's website at the same time as it's on my website. Now, I can send them the code, and when I go live, I'll go live on Nick's website and Joe's website. In other words, I'm increasing my audience, and I can bring people back to my main website at any time. Yeah? And I can spread the fact that One Stream Live does stream to websites, and not just your own website, to other people's websites as well. Uh, and I'm just putting together a series for my partner, Angelica, and we're going to be streaming on my channel and on Angelica's uh, website video. Yeah, Angelica, I just thought of this. Angelica's best lessons on learning German will be broadcast on my website and on Angelica's at the same time, courtesy of One Stream Live. Because just a moment ago, you can use pre recorded video. So all Angelica's videos we can bring in, well, not all, because she's been doing this for about eight years now. But we can bring in selected videos and uh, then just play out. So I'm going I'm to do that and I'll report back next week at the beginning of the broadcast. Now these broadcasts are every Wednesday at uh, 3 p.m. in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern. And if you join me live today, I want to say a big thank you. If you're watching the replay, thank you. If you're watching Stephen live from Wiltshire in England. And glasses on again so I can actually see the screen. And now we're going to come to item number six. So the technical part, there will be a video out, and there'll be a, a Udemy course out. Um, right, okay. 
Now this next step, because we're talking about creating a just a minute, let me edit that. Let me edit that. Okay. Okay, and that should take it is now it's now got the left. Right, I wanted the one stream logo on there, consistency. The thing is, as you can see, in my one stream studio, I can actually edit things on the fly. Right, now I'm going to show you, tell you the way that I do this broadcast. Practice is important. If you're new to live broadcasting, you put together your run of show, as we said earlier, content, and run through it. Go into a private group, or even better, go to your website without telling anybody. Practice. Practice what you're going to do during the live broadcast. Because when you go live, you're going to make mistakes. We all make mistakes. Things happen. But you need to have a run through. Because what you want to do, if you're, if you're doing a 30-minute broadcast, you want it to last 30 minutes. If you're doing a 45-minute broadcast, you want it to last 45 minutes. So you've got to time things. And that's one of the reasons for doing a practice, a run through. Because when you go live on your website and you're attracting people and you're engaging people, you to engage them. You've got a good quality content. And the good quality content comes from getting the run of show together, from practicing. Yeah? Now, what I do, I, I'll tell you my method of doing this. I obviously have a topic for the broadcast every week. Okay, And we'll decide on the topic. I'm happy to be part of the One Stream family. Uh, quite amazing support. One stream live streaming partner too. Um, in fact, I love being part of one stream. Basically, each week has a topic. Each of these Wednesday shows has a topic. What I then do, and I'm going to give my secrets here away. I will. What I need is a run of show. But I also need an intro, a written intro, to actually grab attention. So when this video goes out, it's got a description. Where does that description come from? Basically, I use Bard. I'm not going to admit it. I use Bard to actually create my descriptions. I also use Bard to help create the run of show as well. Because it has an amazing amount of knowledge and can help you organize your thoughts. You've got to seed it originally. But on Tuesday morning, when I'm putting together this broadcast, I schedule it on a Tuesday for broadcasting on a Wednesday. That's something you can do from within your own schedule ahead uh, and then just go live. But basically, if I go here, just a second. So I've got the topic, which is decided sometimes weeks before. I've got a description with the help of Bard. I've got a run of show, Bard and me working together. And I'm good to go. And then, this is going to sound totally weird. With all that information in my head and having scheduled the show, I go out for a walk. And I walk five miles. And I practice the show, run of show in my head. So I'm totally familiar with what I'm going to talk about. And that's key, practice. You don't have to practice. You practice it physically for the first few times you do it. Just go live and just do a test run another test run until you're happy with what's going to happen. Other than that, once you've become a reasonably experienced broadcaster, what you can actually do is you can rehearse everything in your head because you know what you're going to talk about. You know the points you're going to raise. You know um, basically exactly what's going to happen during the live broadcast. So don't be shy of using Bard or ChatGPT to help you get the text right. If you get the text right, that gives you the topic that you're actually talking about, and then practice. And the more you practice, the better you will get. Don't practice on the day, though. Always practice and then leave a gap, because on the day you want to be totally fresh. And if I had gone through three practices this morning, this would not be fresh. This would be canned, yeah? because I'd have learnt my script, my internal script, off by rote, and I would not be ad-libbing as I am at the moment. But... I say I'm living, I'm uh, just putting the titles of the screen and then we start. So I've done my research. Okay.
how to promote your broadcast. This is quite possibly as difficult as it goes. If there are any hurdles to going live, one is us. We've got to be ready. The second is getting people to come and watch. Now, I'm involved in this at the moment on my website. Uh, and I'm planning in August to actually get people over to the website. And I'll tell you how I do it. Okay. But people need to know. Okay. Now, before this live broadcast today, which went live at 10 a.m. Eastern, I, uh, through my social media, I use a system called radar r-a-d-w-l and that posts to my social media networks so it posts to facebook it posts to my website it posts to everywhere linkedin everywhere i can post to and i put the youtube url the video you're watching now i put the show card this show card show card here and i put those together And I put the YouTube link, that show card, the text from AI, text from Bard. So those three elements. And then I scheduled it so that a post would go out from my social media management system, Radar, R A D A A R, based in Turkey, um, and say, I'm live. And it went out at three o'clock, 10 a.m. Eastern today. That's my first thing is I actually post when I'm going live with a link to the YouTube video. Now, in your case, if you're promoting your website broadcast, it will be a link to your website page or blog. Do that as you go live. That catches people's attention. And I'll know how well it works. I'm trying this at the moment. I'll keep you informed during my Wednesday broadcast. But... Basically, you want to catch people in the moment. Over the years, I've tried sending a reminder out the day before, back in the day when all this began, all this live video, uh, which is incredibly seven years ago. Uh, we used to send out a reminder the week before, the day before, the hour before, because we knew we'd get thousands of people watching. It's a bit more difficult now. What you've actually got to do is hit people, because our attention spans have changed. If I see something shiny, I'll go and look at it. And if the shiny thing happens to be a show taking place on your website, I'll come and look. So it's got to be in the moment. So all my social media preparation is for the time I go live. So it hits Facebook, it hits LinkedIn, it hits Twitter as I'm going live. And it says, join me, I'm live. Don't think about it. Just join me. Click this button and join me live. So that's the first way to promote. Use your social media management system to send out a link direct to your live broadcast as you go live. Next. Many businesses will have email lists. Uh, sending out emails to your customers, potential customers, is a good thing to do. Uh, because they know you. They've had emails from you before. They expect to be contacted. They expect you to sell. What they don't expect is you to go live on your website. So out of curiosity, uh, if you phrase it correctly, use Bard, you can actually send out an email beforehand telling people you're actually going live. Okay. Email lists, very important. Uh, I know they've been around for years, but they still work. They still get very good rates of return, especially on something... If you broadcasting now on your website, I would suggest you have a special offer. So that people watching you on your website can gain something that nobody else can have. Okay, you're live on your website for 60 minutes. During those 60 minutes, they get an offer and the offer stops as soon as you finish, as soon as you finish the offer. The next way to promote is basically you can promote, and as I do, um, going live on the day on social media so on the day because you you can't we're not going to remember something you did last week or even something you did yesterday but we can see what you're doing today so before your main broadcast on your website go live on facebook youtube twitter and twitch and linkedin using one stream live 
tell people you're live on your website at the time, yeah, on the day, and invite them along and tell them about the special offer and bring them in. So promote your broadcast before the event. I'd say the day of the event is the best. Uh, anything longer than that, uh, you just won't have the impact. Okay. Now, one of the benefits of broadcasting on your website uh, is the ability to engage with people. Now, we know that if we go live on Facebook and we go live on YouTube, we can interact with people. When you're broadcasting on your website, you will see, if I bring this screen up again, what you have is not just the player there, but what you have over to the side, let's just go here for a moment, yeah, what you have there, can you see that on screen? Just a minute, yes, you can. I think you can. What you have there is the chat. I think that's right. With the chat, you can actually engage with people whilst you're live, and this is golden because it means. Basically, people will say hello, so you can say hello back. As it's then people can ask questions whilst you're live. And this is the whole point of going live, is to give people information, to let people know about what you're, what you're doing. And you've got the ability to that because within one stream live is the chat function. And you could have one of your staff monitoring the chat and answering the questions as you are broadcasting live. So, I mean, the, the, the thing is, and I'm going to be honest here, this is one of the tips during this broadcast, just a takeaway. If you are broadcasting live and you're the only person on screen, you're hosting and you're directing, you need somebody to monitor the chat. You need a volunteer from your organization or a friend, and they answer the questions in the chat. You can answer them verbally, no problem there, you can read them out, but do have somebody to help you because this is the engagement factor. This is getting people involved. And the quicker they get a response, the better. Now, if you're broadcasting live and you're looking directly at the camera, yeah, you can't possibly go off to one side and just start answering questions. No, don't do that. Get somebody else involved uh, and let them help engage. You're engaging with your visual appearance, with your voice, and answering questions. And they can answer the questions. It also forms a record. What happened during the event? Okay, right, let's rewind for a moment and remind ourselves. And I'm going to go here. Okay, so we have been watching. I want to say thank you. Increase your website traffic and conversions. In other words, you can sell on your website. You can sell on your website using one stream live. And it can be a product, it can be a service, it can be an affiliate. You can sell whilst you're live. And you can use live video, as I said, broadcasting on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch, and tell people you're actually going live on your website when and what your special offer is. Get people excited before the day and then on the day. Make sure you've practiced and you've put together. I'm going to say stonking then, that's not quite right. You've put together a professional broadcast that people will actually enjoy watching. Right. Now I'm I'm going to be on this journey with you, okay, because I'm bringing people to my website. I'm going to do shows on the website. As I said earlier, I'm going to do replays of Angelica's shows on the website, all using OneStream, just one system. OneStream is the one-stop shop for everything. And I'm going to go be going live on my website, broadcasting live and playing pre -recorded. So I'm on the journey. I will report on it uh, from time to time. I'm live here on this YouTube channel uh, every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Eastern. You have been watching Stephen live from Wiltshire, England. I want to say a big thank you to everybody at OneStream because this is a perfect system. Broadcasting live on YouTube and to your website. It is everything you want whilst I'm live. Plus that at the end of it. Uh, if you missed part of this broadcast, as I 
today. This will be broadcast on my social media channels at 2 p.m. Eastern today. That's it. Okay, now I did I did play to a script. Okay. Uh, when you go live, it doesn't matter whether you're going live on YouTube, but websites uh, are a different animal and they're new to us. Uh, but the technology is the same, the cameras and the microphones that you need to actually go live on your website. We talked about three cameras, we talked about three microphones. I want to say a big thank you for watching live. I'll see you again next Wednesday. Bye for now. Okay, now it has failed to stop my stream. I'm going to stop recording. Okay, and I'm going to carry on talking. It's a